Hey guys, EBP Man here, and if you would love to have a home theater in your home, but either don't have the space or don't have a room that's dark enough, like over here, then you're going to want to watch this video, because today in this review, we're going to take a look at Elite Screens Aeon CLR2. This is a light rejection screen that's going to allow you to watch movies, theater-like, even in lit rooms. Let's get right to it. Now in this video, we're going to take a closer look at Elite Screen's Aeon CLR2 series of screens. And the CLR stands for Ceiling Light Rejection. The cool thing about this screen is that it really solves, at a very affordable price, the biggest challenge that anyone who wants to set up either a home theater, or let's say you'd like to have a home theater-like experience in your living room, has, and that is dealing with light. So the CLR basically stands for Ceiling Light Rejecting. And what it does is it rejects light from all areas except the area that you're projecting where the source is coming from your projector. So this, just as you can see here, this is my living room with the blinds open. Um, I don't have any can lighting above, but it's a very well lit room. And you can see the kind of image quality I'm getting from a projector. So this is something that you can implement really easily. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon, and choose all to get notified when new videos become available. Now one of the most time consuming parts of this process is putting the screen together. It comes fully disassembled. Now, I will say that in my experience, having put together at least five different uh, screens, fixed frame screens like this, this happens to be one of the most easiest that I find and the one that has the most clear instructions to put this together. Everything is nicely organized, everything is uh, together in its bag, it's labeled clearly, and they give you step by step what you have to do in order to put together your screen and have a wrinkle-free experience. And no wrinkles is really important. Uh, the screen, once it's mounted, you'll see that it has a very light frame. There is really no thickness to it. And you're actually getting around 103 inches. This is actually going to be 103 inch. Uh, the nice thing about this, again, is that it's also ultra light. So mounting it on a wall is super simple. Literally, my wife and I put this together without any help. We mounted it without any help. And the mounting process took maybe five minutes to 10 at most beyond putting the screen together. Again, I took my time. I checked things double maybe three times to make sure I had no wrinkles and I have a beautiful experience. So many people, when they come to my house and they see the screen, they go like, wow, that's a big TV and they don't realize that it's actually a projection screen. Now, the best way to review a screen is by looking at the overall quality. Now I'm using for this test an Optima projector. Optima projectors are known, this is an ultra short throw projector, are known for not having the best brightness when it comes to daylight viewing. And you can see here, the blinds in my home are open, light is coming in, and this is what the kind of image I'm getting. What I'll do next is I will basically close the blinds and show you that same video so you can see what that experience is like. And then in the next video, what you're gonna see is the entire area completely dark. So you can see how it goes from good to great to amazing, depending on your lighting situation. And as you can see here, I'm gonna show you all three lighting situations at the same time so you can see how it improves um, as the lighting conditions change in your home. But again, the piece about this, and this is why you'd want to pick up a screen like this, is that you can view, view this even in daylight. So the daylight viewing, viewing is very, very good. It's still going to be acceptable. You can still see the images. The only thing that changes is as it gets darker, you're going to see uh, darker uh, or more vibrant colors. So your blacks are going to be blacker, your reds are going to be redder, yellows are going to yellow or going to be more popping. So all the colors just come more to life as soon as things get darker. But it makes it incredibly usable, especially in a living room, for example, that you want to turn into a theater. Let me know what you thought about the quality. If you have any questions, A, hey, and also check the description area because we also have a 5% discount if you're looking to pick one of these up. See you in the next one.